Poker is hot. Look at this. Look at this. All these people. None of them going to win. Nobody going to win. Because you know what? Limping is pimping. Doing good. We got a full rack of chips there with a little bit of extra. There's the Thunderdome. All right. It's, it's the big one. He's got a sweat. We have the nine. He's drawn to that. Hey, there we go. All right. World Series of Poker. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. We got a little oatmeal, some protein powder. Gonna add some of this. We got strawberries and pineapple we're going with, a little fruity mix. It's almost done over here. Gonna add a little bit of uh, soy yogurt from Kite Hill, or actually it's almond yogurt. And then over here, we got some new boxes of the Mezcla bar. We got four new ones. Come and get some. Buy your own at Mezcla, 15% off if you use DNAX 15. Then I boarded some shoes online, some new shoes for myself. Boom. These are the Creative Rex that I like this brand. I don't know. I just always do. These are the teal ones that have been out of stock forever and they finally weren't. These are some low tops here, some simple black ones. Hopefully they fit nice. They usually do. So we're getting our day started. Off right. The finished product. Yum, yum. Way to start. It's got everything in here. The oats is a great superfood. You got protein from here over here. Fida, get yourself some Fida if you haven't. This is the protein powder you want. Three different flavors, cafe latte, creamy chocolate, and caramel vanilla. Fida, Fida, get you some if you wanna be a Fida. Here we go. All right, we just got the good news. Well, the bad news, the bad news. Patty Landis gave us some news. Here she is. Tell us the story, Patty. Hey guys, just letting you know, um, I came in 29th. <laughs> Um, yeah, I got low chip there at the end and uh, went all in with ace jack of diamonds, uh, ran up against ace king, caught a flush draw on the turn, but it didn't come through. But I'm very, very happy with my play and um, I love playing this event with the ladies. Everyone is so sweet and nice and uh, I love the drive, the determination of all of them. Um, just had a blast. And I want to wish all the ladies uh, good luck at the final table. All right. Till next time, next year. All right. So you heard from Patty Landis. I want to say, like, every year we talk about this. But this is the event Patty looks forward to every single year. So sort of a comment to those that don't think there's a place for ladies' events anymore and blah, blah, blah. You guys just ass at backwards wrong. Like, this is the one tournament a year she wants to play. It's an opportunity for, you know... The, the ladies, to, well, the women, I don't know what you want to call them, the, the people who play it. <laughs> I'm so confused these days, I have no idea. <laughs> what you said? Ah, the, the participants. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy. I love the event. I think it's super cool. I'm glad that Patty, you know, gives it a go each year. She came fifth one year, 29th this year. Um, but it is. I think it's a unique opportunity for women to sort of enter the arena, if you will, um, in a very, in a much more like comforting, comfortable space, right? Around other women and not have to deal with all the annoying stuff that maybe, you know, they do deal with on a regular basis. So, so as much as we can say, like, listen, it, you know, having separate events based on sex is not like suggesting one is better than the other in poker because it's not how it works. It's just a question of, it's as simple as this. Okay. Poker has been around for a hundred years. It used to be just men. Women didn't play no damn poker, right? Um, and one way to introduce more women to play poker, I believe wholeheartedly is ladies events. I support them one billion zillion percent. Um, every year Patty says, listen, I'm going to need a few days off. And I say, okay, take four and win it all. Do it. Good luck. All right. We got a little bit of time here. We made the frothy, the frothy coffee with a little, uh, I make that, uh, cashew milk real nice. One of the shout give you all a shout out, right? I've been telling you a little bit about contenders, clothing, underwear, and kind of sort of how I was like a little anxious about, you know, were people going to want to buy them? Are they going to do it? And what if nobody does? And I want to tell you something. I was blown away. And I'm so thankful to everyone who got themselves a pair of the big stack pocket aces all in. And with that, I'm drunk. the nuts, the nuts, of course. Can't forget the nuts. So you bought those underwear. Thank you very much. Apparently, I'm hearing internally, one of the best selling launch for their underwear line ever. Good job, y'all. And they're really good, right? Like those of you that get them, let them know in the comments. Like they're good quality. They're, and they're like, I like boxer briefs. They're, they're perfect. So 
we're gonna chill here on the couch, but th I wanted to give a shout out because I was a little nervous about, you know, kind of doing that. And uh, yeah, we got more stuff coming out too. I think you'll like very, sh very, sh very soon, very, very soon. Almost noon, almost time to go. That's yesterday's shoes. We got the Nintendo deal, and today we're going with the brand new ones. We're going with the Creative Rex. Uh, so far, so good. They feel really, really comfortable. Nice and easy. And these these are my flips, by the way, and they're also Creative Rex. I've had Adidas ones for 15, 20 years I used to get. These are a thousand times better, way more cushy. And I don't own any pieces of this company, but I just like them, so I share. Check these out. Fun, I like it. I could dance in these. Take a chance on me. Da 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 da. Na, 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 na. What am I doing right now? All right, day three drive in video. I want to get into the weeds here a little bit with you. Uh, talk a little bit about sort of what poker's all about, and that's exploiting your opponent's weaknesses, okay? GTO is about trying to hide your own, but really, what it teaches you, game theory, is like what is the baseline? So let's look at a hand, let's look at a situation from. Uh, from this game, for example, right? You know how I do the sweat thing. So there's certain spots where I know that I'm like a two to one favorite to make my hand. For example, let's say I have deuce three, four, five, and I look and I see three across. That means it's either a six, seven, or an eight. Seven or an eight, I win, six, I lose, okay? So 60, So say, for example, I bet without looking. 33% of the time I'm bluffing, okay? So now let's look at this. Let's say there is a pot and it's, there's 1,000 in the pot, 1,000 in the pot. My opponent checks. I look, I see the three across, I bet 1,000, okay? So my opponent's getting two to one and I'm bluffing one third of the time. This is what's called completely indifferent, indifferent. It doesn't matter if he calls, it doesn't matter if he folds. It's an even money proposition that he's getting because I'm exactly two to one. So how do we exploit people? Well, first and foremost, we ask ourselves this question, the very important question. Does our opponent overfold or does our opponent call too often? Now we can manipulate the sizes. So let's say, for example, we know that our opponent calls too often, okay? And there's a thousand in that pot. I can bet 1,500 now into that thousand. I might have it, I might not. I'll still be bluffing a decent clip, 33%. But if this guy calls, or girl, if they call, they're making a mistake. They're not getting the right price, even though I don't know what I have. Do you get what I'm saying here? Because in theory, 67% of the time, I'm gonna I'm gonna have the best hand and 33% of the time I lose, but I'm not offering you two to one anymore. I'm offering you less than two to one. So against people that call too often, we choose, you know, we can choose overbet sizes to exploit that fact. Now you go the other way. Let's say people are folding too much, which is what I found last night. There was a lot of overfolding going on from a few of the players at my table. I know things will change as we, you know, get down to 14 or whatever, but I found a lot of overfolding. So what that means is, um, first of all, I should be just bluffing more, right? Just increase my bluff frequencies across the board. And also, well, actually, you know, I don't even need to lower the size, but in theory, let's say for example, someone just folds too often and there's a thousand in the pot, you bet 800 or 700, they should call every time because they're getting better than two to one, but they won't, right? They don't realize that like, literally they should be calling you with like deuces, threes, fours, fives, because you're not going to be bluffing with those small pairs. So, that's the idea behind like what the what's the point of learning theory it's about learning the baseline and then you exploit by looking at the player and say all right they've been folding too much so we just have to increase bluffs they've been calling too much so we can increase sizes for value bluff less whatever the case may be so i think from going to day three i'm likely going to be looking for uh, good spots to bluff you know with with size sometimes not necessarily but you know, we'll see how it goes. Obviously, I come in with sort of an idea. But anyway, it gives you a little gist and understanding of how the... And I love the beauty of this game. Because the beauty of this game, as I said before, is does he have it or not? Or does she have it or not? Gotta be... Gotta be... Gotta be gotta, do they have it? Just go they. Do they have it? And um, that's what it comes down to. But again, in spots where I sometimes, you know, bet, I don't know if I have it. So how are you going to get a read? It's tough. Like, I'm not going to be giving off any nervousness because I'm like, if you call, maybe that's good for me. I don't know. We'll find out. If you do, let's see, son. Let's see. Or daughter. I got, you know. I can't do it. I don't know, bro. <laughs> All right, today back on the bronze cafe deal we got the vegan 
bacon, egg and cheese deal. Let's take a look. Oh, it's got a wrap on it and the whole deal. So we gotta, gotta dig a little bit. Got some lettuce, got some, let's see. Oh, it's a pretzel bun, that's what's up. Okay, let's take a look inside. So it's like a just egg, kind of cheesy, bacony. Oh, <laughs> this is messy. Oh, there's the bacony part in there. Let's take a good, uh, mm -hmm. Mmm. That's good. Always good. I mean, I'm never eating anything. It sucks. So, so tasty. Yum. Oh, so you're not going to wait in the line? Not what? It's, it's not a big line. It's what are you crazy. talking about? What? Where's the Go line? The oh, you mean the entire room is the line? Go get it. Look at this. This is the line to get in the Colossus. There's rows and rows and rows of, I don't know if they're late regging or what, but this is what it is, man. Look at this. Unbelievable. Holy people, look at that. They go around and around like a big old snake. Lot, two hours? All right, well, enjoy yourself. Get yourself a, you know, a snack. Yeah, look at this, look at this. Look at this, you think I'm, you think I'm playing? Colossus, World Series of Poker, y'all. Poker is hot, look at this, look at this. All these people, none of them gonna win. Nobody gonna win. <laughs> One of you is gonna win. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go over here, a little more sane. All right, here we are drawing to two tables. This guy's still here. Do you like, isn't it fun when people point right in your face like that? Awesome. You love it. It's your, you said earlier, you're like, you were hoping that I point in your face. Get up real close. Oh, almost touched. Ah, we got Brad Rubin. Why are you so good all of a sudden? I did. Huh? Meditation. Man. When did that happen? It's all, Jesus. It's all about meditation. Okay, we are redrawing down to two tables. We're sitting there doing good. We got a full rack of chips there with a little bit of extra. 14 left. There's the rest of us. There's the Colossus Madness. There's the Thunderdome. There's Chris Moneymaker. I know that guy. All right, here at the World Series of Poker, we got floor people who work with us, right? Here's some floor people right here and they work with us, right? We got Colossus, it's crazy over there. It's crazy, right? There's 45 billion people walking Correct. through the halls. We're supposed to go on break with them. You know what they did for us? They said, you know what? We'll delay your break Correct. so that when they come back, we then can go break, and so we don't have to be sheep so and try to, to plow through the like All right, I like that. You see, they listen. That's excellent, good job. That's Chad, by the way, look at that suit. Huh? Snazzy, I like it. Thank you. You got it. All right, I got about 620,000. There's 13 left. Uh, so far, just been playing patient. Had one three bet I had where um, this guy is very good, I can tell. Asian guy from New York. He knows what he's doing. He's one of the better players, I think. He's raised under the gun to 24. I'm, I remained at 85 on the button. The three, four, seven, eight jack. Now that's what's called a convertible, right? If he draws, we have a jack eight, we pat. If he pats, we break that jack and we try to make the eight. Uh, he called, he drew one. He checked, I just, I'm never betting the jack eight. Check it back, won that one. A little bit later, I raised it up with, as a bluff, deuce, 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 six. Deuce, 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 eight, 10. Total bluff. I raise, uh, Chris Fitch calls on the button. I, ch I pat, because my plan is to bluff. And he draws one, so I have to bet now. And I bet, and he thinks for a minute, he calls, he made a nine. But I think it would've worked if he makes a pair or misses, just like even like a jack or a queen probably fold so we got a decent amount of bluffs we're playing our playing the cards we're dealt playing the situations looking for spots Ooh, smells like smoke eh, somebody smoking cigarettes up in here they ain't supposed to be let's let's freaking crack a whip if we see a guy with a cigarette I'm already left on. hook i'm already on that i'm gonna give him a left hook see this is my guy right here he's gonna help it. me left right boom walk, that's it when i walk through here i hope that's the way to go that's the way to go there's a lot of smoke over there in the horseshoe but you know, hated. such is life. Boop, put at it. You know, people smoke stupid, but they still do. It's amazing. 2023, what the hell are they doing? Come on, man. Whew. All right, off to break we go. 675, my man John just busted. He looks happy. <laughs> what did you have that hand? Like with the other card? I think three. Oh, so you were thinking about holding the queen? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay, so we got 675. There are 10 left. Two tables of five. And steady Eddie, you know, keep on trucking, feel good. Just trying to pick up reads. That's all. You know, watching the hands, seeing how people are playing them, who's bluffing, who's not, um, when they go in the tank. And that's the game, you know? Uh, yeah, that's the game, man. You just look at people and then you decide. And obviously, you do some things with the cars, with the blockers, with the randomizations, with this, with the that, you know, I'm not gonna throw, yeah. 
One thing that's interesting now, as I said, because of the limping, never used to be a thing. So in the small blind, much like in No Limit Hold'em, I'm gonna be limping a lot more in my range, right? So just now, for example, in the small blind, I had a nine, nine, eight, seven, six, nine, eight, seven, four, three, I think, against David Baker, and I just limped. If he raises, I'm not even gonna re-raise. I'm going to protect my limp call range. So, you know, like, cause I can't just like limp raise with the good ones and limp call with the tens and jacks cause it's pretty easy for him to play against that. So my plan was to limp call and then just check and call. But um, he drew three, didn't matter anyways. But even then, like so if he makes a 10 or something, it's gonna bet the worst hand. So similar to no limit hold them where your small blind range is gonna be doing a lot of limping. We're allowed to do that now. And I will take full advantage because you know what? Limping is pimping. All right, we're chilling here at the table. Oh, right behind us is the Brazilian rail. And every time I pull out the camera to shoot something, it's like, bah, 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 and then I set it up, da, 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 and then they're done. But it's good. You heard it, right? Da, 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 bah, bah. Nobody over here is doing any of that. Here you go, Chris. This guy. No, oh, there's no bra, bah, bah, bump here. You're going to do one of those in Portuguese? No, no, don't, don't, don't. No, it's good. Thanks. Obrigado. That's all I got. Yeah, Brazilian rails. They know what's up, but I keep missing it. Watch it on TV. Watch it on Poker Go. I don't know. We doing good. Hey, look, we got one. Hey, look at that. We got one over here. Obrigado. Look. <laughs> hey, there we go. All right, World Series of Poker. <laughs> All right, it's, it's the big one. He's got a sweat. We have the nine. He's drawn to that. So he needs to catch a three, a three size spade. six, eight, or a nine. Three size spade, please. It's a no-sider. I hope it's not a heart. It's not a heart. One third. <laughs> All right, nine left. We got 910,000. That was a very large I love how we played it. I really do. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. I mean, you just got unlucky, but uh, Alex opened for 45 and we're four handed at our table. I just flatted the button with a three, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a, you know, it's a pretty strong hand, four handed. Baker raises to 220 from the small. I move in. I'm really hoping what he has is a 10. Because if he has a 10, he's going to stay pat and I just win. You know, it's over. I can just win and we, we have like two million or something in chips. But he's on the draw. He draws one catches nothing across so if it's an ace we win if it's a deuce we win it was the three so he made the wheel but listen i feel great about where i'm at i mean still got 900 obviously that pot 500 it was like 1.2 million in that pot so we'd have 2.1 2.2 but we can't let that get us down right it's like uh well, i mean obviously we're a favorite pretty substantial but um you know just gotta win those all ins and we will. we haven't really been all in much and that one was unavoidable, so keep on trucking. All right, so we lost a player, finally. We're now eight-handed, playing deuce to seven, single draw, eight-handed. I don't know that you play that very often. I guess they do in the cash games. Uh, very different than the four-handed we were playing. We were dancing, my man Alex is dancing. I assume he'll dance a little bit less. Just a, just a teensy weensy bit less, you know? Less of the limp small board. Now we're gonna play pods, yeah, we're gonna play spots. So eight-handed, we're doing fine, we got 800 and... 20, you know, just that, that hit obviously was a strong one because we would have had like over 2 million, but the average is going to be a little over 1, 1 1.2, so we're pretty close and just get it in good. That's what we do, you know? Play good play good poker. Let's do this. Huh? Hey! Where are you, where are you from? Daniel, Fresno and Arizona. Arizona. Fresno and Arizona. Oh, yeah. Woo! Let's go. Fresno and Arizona. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Here is our view at the final table. Nice squeezer, nice to be. Baker. We had Yuri here a minute ago. He's over there. He needs a high chair. He needs a high chair. He's getting a high chair. Here we go. We <laughs> gotta get him a high chair. <laughs> we got Chris Fitch. It's Livingston's. <laughs> You're still here, more than 15 minutes. Bravo. <laughs> yeah. You see? Well done, yeah. It's the view. All right, off to dinner break we go. We got one hour plan. Obviously use the bathroom, make a pee pee, and then we are, uh, oh, we gotta run around this thing. And then, um, yeah, you know, we're gonna probably nap, do our thing, and then we're gonna do a coffee, because it's the final table. That's 
we do. We got 505,000 chips. What's this weather? I don't know, there's seven left. We're like six or seven, but we don't give a shit about none of that. We're playing great. It's very deep structure. We have all the time in the world. Blinds will be 15 and 30,000. So we've got almost 20 bigs at a seven handed table. Just gonna continue to play like a freaking killer, baby. Like a killer. That's what we're doing. We're trying to kill people today. Not really, but like, you know what I mean? Figuratively. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. I can't do any better today. No, no oopsies. Playing good. Solid poker. We'll get back in this thing. Don't you worry about it. Coffee's officially brewing. Ready to play some poker. Nap time over. Go time starts now. I feel good. Let's do this. I think the coffee is going to be just what the doctor ordered. It's uh, 8 30. I don't care because we're going for it. This is the one, right? You got to keep in it, keep strong all the way through. No, not worried about sleep tonight. We're worried about focus, focus, focus. All right. Didn't film basically my all in because I got this little trick that I've been doing, but we just doubled the deuce three, four, five against deuce three, four, eight. We both caught a jack and the jack wins. We didn't just fill me all in because what I do is, especially in this spot, I keep one big bet left. You know, all the kids do it, right? That way, if I catch the six straight, I know I can't win, so I saved this one bet because um, he didn't put it in, but then we did. So, uh, <laughs> I don't want to tell you that, but I'm excited. I bet 900K is down to four. We're five handed. The boys are playing some poker. We're back in it. Like I said, average is whatever, 1.8, but we're super deep. I got a million. Look at this. Man. Okay. So we're back in there. All right, out fifth place. Best run of the, uh, of the summer. I don't see any way out of this hand. Uh, Brewer opens to 60,000. I'm in the small line. I got 9864 deuce. Pretty good hand. I three bet to 225. Now, Alex in the big blind. He, uh, here you go. My ticket thingy. Do you need my ID and stuff? Yes. Okay, I'm going to give you that. Um, so, what was I saying? Yeah. So I have 986, four deuce. I make it 225, as I said. He makes it 625 from the big. I have like, I can call and raise like 300 more, which if I'm gonna play, that's the only play. And there's a decent amount of hands I beat here, right? I beat some nines. I beat like all the convertibles, right? He has like a 10-8, you know, or a 10-7, something like that. We're ahead. I don't. I just don't think I can fold a 986. Like I said, I, I beat. Even if he has a 986, he could have 9865. He could have 98643. Just so many hands I beat. So I went with it, and uh, that was it. Yeah. My favorite thing is right when I bust. Does everybody want a picture? My absolute. I love it. Yeah. You get me at the best possible time. Yeah. All right. See you guys. Cheers, bud. Have a good one. I don't know. All right. So we busted, got to just, I don't even know what's going on, what's possible. I didn't look at anything. I didn't look at the payouts. I didn't look at, I don't know what's going on. All, uh, all that was to me was this event. Um, that was it. So now we'll have to figure it out. I don't even know if I can get in anything, but probably let's see. <laughs> How many are of these? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus two on lines, 11 caches. That's the new best one. But the show must go on. We keep on trucking. Okay, so since the Big Bet Mix, $2,500 uh, started late because of all the crazy Colossus, that means we still got a couple hours of play before re-entry closes, and there are two rebuys. So I'm not gonna swear. I'm just gonna get in there. And if like, you know, I probably won't have that crazy focus, but I feel good. I just had that coffee. So we're just gonna get back on the hobby horse and keep on going. I have no regrets on that hand. I, 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 you ask anybody who plays the game, I mean, playing five-handed, you get nine, eight, six, four, deuce. Like every every one of those cards matters in terms of rank, right? Because if he has a nine, eight, six, okay, which nine, eight, six? I, the only one that beats me would be nine, eight, six, three, deuce, and I have four, deuce. So I don't see any way out of that one. Really don't, but I'll think about it. I mean, ah, there's nothing to think about. I've just got cooler, you know, five-handed. All right, on to the next one. Let's go. So I'm going to be doing some giveaways all summer, but you can't win unless you're a subscriber. So please do me a favor, click the subscribe button down below. All right, we're playing Big O. My man raised under the gun over here. This guy potted from the button. We potted, he potted, everybody potted. Now he's like, what do I do? <laughs> I'm in. We've got two rebuys left. Let's take a look. It's Big O, high, big high and low, right? Okay, so I got the... 
Yeah, 32.9. And this is the hand. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Okay, we lost one. He left. I got ones. I got ones. I got the high. You got the low. You got your diamond. Your spades are no good. You got diamonds. What's that? You got a good flop, right? What do you got? A full house? You got it all, buddy. Full house, ace, dude. Well, look, we had good cards. We had, he wasn't even fucking around. 32-9, you got me covered. Well done. GG. You played great. I'm lying. That was terrible. What are you doing with this fucking hand? <laughs> all right. We're rebuying. That's it. I lose. Yes. We're on bullet two, and we were just talking about the beautiful stud eight hand, because this is the gentleman who he couldn't sleep either, because it was such a weird spot. How many did you take? Two? We got the okay. Two so here we go. We're, we're doing this. And now we need to just fill it right in. There we go. No more cards for Dean Eggs. All good. Pat. Pat, he's drawn. So there's one more. You get one. This and another one? All right. Good luck. <laughs> All right. 875. Okay. Not a lot of room. Seven or an eight. That's all. All right. We doubled. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got most of the hand right, but he brings up a good point. I got because it was such a crazy spot. Richie, he catches a jack, so he's got six jacks showing. The other guy has seven do soft suits showing, and I have queen nine. So, with the other two breaking off and a seven deuce not really being like all that scary, you know, five six suited, ace four suit, those are scary, but like seven deuce off can't make a straight with seven deuce. So, this is a good spot for me to bet. Um, Richie may call, may not. Hopefully, the seven deuce, if he does have a low draw, he's going to raise and kick out the other guys, right? That's typically what you would do, clear out the rest. Um, so I bet Richie calls with the jack six, which lets me believe that, like, he's got a pretty good three card. Must be, like, some sort of three card straight. I learned this. I figured this out pretty quickly. Could could be, yeah, anyway. So the seven deuce guy does not raise, which is interesting to me. I'm like, okay, well, what, did, maybe he paired. Something like that. The other two guys break. He did raise four. I said, no, he didn't raise four. I said, he has to raise four with his hand or whatever. He did raise four. thousand percent I raised four. Yes. And I re-raised. A thousand percent. Because I I, there's no way if he raises, I'm not re-raised. So that, that's the difference. He did re-raise, which makes four five obviously make a ton of sense. And then his raise to try to get me out. I mean, it's just a goofy fucking weird spot. I don't know. Is, is, is four vlogs the record for one vlog? I know. I think so. We're going to talk about it for the rest of the series. I'll be in the main event going, you remember it's kind of like that deuce seven, eight, nine with three spades. <laughs> what do I got here? You got a fold. There we go. <laughs> so they're all laughing because I went to go get a chair of the people because they switched them all out with these ones, right? And I sat in this chair. This chair kind of... Chair of the people... <laughs> I sat back at this thing, and I turned it into a little bit of a bed, right? It's a little low. But I think they still have chair of the people over there. I'm going to try to find one. Okay, so I'm screwed, right? Look at this board, right? He, he checked the flop back, okay? I'm in the big blind, and I'm just dead. He has three deuces for sure. I'm not going to fold, but he has three deuces. I'm, sure, I'm going to do the old school Dean Eggs thing. We're going to do this, and we're going to say, I call, and you're going to show me the three deuces. I call. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I mean, I knew it too. Oh my. <laughs> I had a flush draw and everything. Nice hand. <laughs> the old school Dean eggs. Tell them what they got and pay it off. What do you want me to do? Top two. I would have folded if I didn't hit two pair, but I guess it doesn't matter if he's got three deuces. That was stupid. Okay, well, back to gambling we go. Too bad. Was, well, maybe not in the rebuy period I would have folded. I don't know. Who knows? So I'm on the rail. My man comes telling me, he says his wife, he's got, she's like, he, she got to show him up because she got a picture with Johnny Wynn. <laughs> and I'm you like, I can fuck with Johnny Wynn. I'll fuck him up. Exactly. Johnny Wynn. She got a picture with Johnny Wynn. Johnny, Johnny Scotty Wynn. Johnny Scotty Wynn. <laughs> <laughs> and now you just showed her up. That's what's up. We're having fun with the rail, goofing off, paying this guy off. So the reason I said he had three deuces is because it came check, seven, six, check, 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 turn deuce. I bet he raised me. Obviously, duh. One of the main hands is three deuces. So I said three deuces, and I paid the man his money. It's fine. Whatever. We'll get, we'll get our money in, the, in an, another spot. If I didn't hit the eight, I probably would have fallen. Top two. I got chopped into pool. All right. This is the second bullet. You you called my, my own? Okay. We're going to take one card. How many do you want? None? 
Or I'm going to take one as well. You're going to take one as well? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm drawing a 9-7. What are you drawing to? Something better, right? Okay. What do I got to be? Just catch a 6 and then I don't even need to look. Jack. Okay, so I need, uh, I don't know. I need an ace. No, I don't. Okay, rebuy. Good game. All right, run into a little bit of snag on this third bullet, but we're getting it taken care of. The machine didn't have paper, and then I went, and they said, no, you already rebought, but no, I didn't. We filmed it, we know, but my man here is printing me out a third receipt, so we are good to go. Gonna jump right in, I think. Yeah, looks like he's doing it. He's doing it, he's doing it, he's doing it, wow. Doing it and doing it and doing it, wow. Remember that, old school? Why am I so happy? I'm on my third bullet. I should be sad and angry. We're playing five card draw. I got him all in. I'm all in. I got okay. Five card draw. Five card draw. That's just a high game. I'm gonna throw one card away. I'm gonna keep these ones. All right. I'm gonna throw two cards away, and I'm just gonna keep these. Ones. Okay. You need to help. Yeah, I'm on team. Two pairs. Oh, that's okay. To Never mind. Okay. What the hell's going on? <laughs> We're losing the all. At least I had more than him. This one ain't gonna nine, make nine. a block. It is. I everything I film makes a block. How much? Nine nine. Nine nine. Okay, there you go. Give me, give me whatever. First and I sit down on third bullet. Boom. Two pair. Okay, you win. So we're all in again. I have kings and fours. He oh has uh, kings and jacks. So I need an ace or a four. Justin, come acknowledge this. Or a three. Ace four or three. Or we're going home early. Deuce. Okay. At least you put me out of my misery. <laughs> That's that. Okay. Kind of a wacky end to the day, but. Uh, listen, I mean, I can't, I guess, I don't know, can I fold jacks and eights? I mean, I'm pretty sure you had three deuces, but you can't just fold top two there. Um, and every other hand was just like, whatever, I lost them. That's okay. Uh, well, I lost the hands. <laughs> so the good news is, I can go home a little bit early. Gotta wake up it's a little early. We gotta be here for noon because tomorrow we are doing the celebration of life for Mr. Bill Brunson. I'll be one of the speakers. And then we'll look at the schedule. I think there's Pot Limit Omaha, eight or better, 10K tomorrow, and a little online shindig. So if, not, if I'm not gonna go deep in the big bet mix, I'd much rather be out fast and easy. So eh, up and down day, but overall, you know, another fun day at the World Series of Poker. Only a couple left, this PLO eight, and then the main event, whoa!